Hello and welcome to your video tour of the 2019 Ford Everest Sport a Pacific Toyota Cans. Before we enter the tour of the car we'll just have a quick look around the yard. So this is one of two used yards. This one's at 235 Mulgrave Road and the other's at 77 Mulgrave Road. Have our showroom just there. And then just having a quick look around the rest of the yard here. Just across the road there we have our new cars, Toyota and Lexus. And just behind that we have our services, parts and accessories. So getting to the two of the car now, we'll start at the right here. No scratches on that side mirror, which was good to see. And then just have a look over this paint as well. Have a look at this front rim. No scratches in that rim, which is good to see. And you've still got plenty of tread on the tire as well. Got some minor stone chips just here, nothing major though. A couple of other small ones just at the front. And then just having a look over that hood, there are a couple of small stone, small stone chips just on that hood as well. Have a look at that front windscreen now, no scratches or cracks on that front windscreen which is good to see. Got your front parking sensors here too. Coming around to that passenger side, just making sure there's no dents or dings on this side. And then just have a look over that paint. Another couple small stone chips just at the front there, nothing major though. Have a look at this front wheel on the passenger side, make sure there's no scratches on this rim. And you've still got plenty of tread on the tyre as well. around to this side mirror no scratches on that mirror either which is good to see and then we'll just have a look over this paint as well make sure there's no dents or dings in there small little dent just here on this side not sure if you can see that in the video Nothing big, but just want to really critique the car in these videos, point out anything we can see so you know exactly what you're getting. One thing I like to do in the videos is just have a look inside these door handles. Often you get scratches from people's fingernails opening up the doors. Pretty hard to avoid in pre-owned cars. But just still really criticizing the car here, trying to point out anything at all for you. Have a look at the inside of the passenger door, no scratches or marks in there. Have a look at that dash too, nice and tidy up there. No scratches on that. And then these front leather seats in great condition as well, no marks on them. Just have a look under the carpet here in the front too, make sure there's no damages under there. A little bit of dirt but we will give this car another detail before it goes out to you. And then have a look in this back door as well. Make sure there's no scratches or marks on this one either. And again, leather on these back seats in great condition. No scratches or marks on these back seats either. Got your AC controls back here, as well as, well as your power outlets. Just there and there. And then pulling down the center armrest too, making sure there's no hidden marks in there. Back of these driver's seats again, great condition there as well. A little bit of a scuff mark here, I'm not sure if you can see that in the video. But we'll give this another buff before it goes out to you as well. Come around to the back now. No scratches or chips on this back windscreen. And then just have a look over the paint too. Got your rear parking sensors there. It's 
well as your reverse camera. Okay, automatic boot. And you've got a couple of stone chips here at the back as well. This is a um, not the same metallic color as the hood, so we'll be able to give this one a brush touch for you. Heaps of room in the back here. Carpet's all in great condition too. Got your tools in there as well. And then just point up these back seats. No scratches or marks on these back seats either. You got a 12 volt outlet on the left here too. Close that up. Again, automatic boot, just press a button. Have a look at the wheel on this side too. Make sure there's no scratches on this rim. And you've still got plenty of tread on that tire as well. Just have a look over the paint now for you. A couple small stone chips on this side. And then again, just look inside these door handles for you. Nothing major, but some very small scratches in there. So I'll be really honest in these videos for you. Obviously driver's door, most commonly used door. A couple more scratches in the other doors in that one. Have a look inside the door. On the back, make sure there's no scratches or marks in there. And then lastly, the driver's door now. Again, checking for any scratches or marks on this door. New floor mount on the driver's seat. Carpet underneath all in good condition. A little bit of dirt under there, but we'll give this one another clean for you. Up in now and start it up. Got two keys with this car. Push button start on the left here. And then we'll just have a look at that dash cluster, make sure no warning lights pop up when we turn it on. You can see your current case to date as well, 58,317 kilometres. Then we'll just go over everything starting at the right here. Got your window controls just there. Central locking too. Got your headlight adjustment as well as your boot, which can be opened from the front. And then just above that, you have your side um, window, side mirror controls, which can be brought in and out if you wish. Then have a look at the center steering wheel here. Got your cruise control on the right and your audio controls on the left. scroll through that um, dash cluster display as well so there you are the speakers are working well which is good and then we'll just check the touch screen too make sure that's all working Touch screen's all working well there for you. Coming down now, you've got your AC controls, nice cool air coming out of there. And coming down now, you've got two USB outlets just there, as well as your 12 volt outlet on the left. Then just over here, you've got your parking sensors, your traction control, diff lock. Um, low gear and your automatic start and stop which can be turned off if you wish and you've got your terrain controls just there as well coming down now nice and tidy through here which is good and then just have a look at that center console making sure it's nice and tidy through there as well the 
open up the glove box for you now and have a look at that service history. So you had your first service at 3,297 Ks. Your next one was done at 16,430 Ks. One after that was done at 32,319 kilometers. Your next service after that was done at 47,038 Ks. And then your most recent service has been done with us at 58,238 kilometers. Your next service isn't due until 73,000 Ks. So you can see your current Ks there. You have about 15,000 kilometers before that next service is due. Or just under, sorry. Truck this car into reverse for you now. You can see your reverse camera and your parking sensors working there. Lastly now, we'll just pop this hood and have a look underneath while the car's running. Struts on the side, just make it nice and easy to open up. No strange noise, so rattles coming out of there, which is good. Everything's working well. Hope you enjoyed your video tour of the 2019 Ford Everest Sport. Please let me know if you have any questions or if there's anything you want to see in more detail, and I'll come back out here and film it for you. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.